I'm Joby Boxall, Chair of Water Infrastructure Engineering at the University of Sheffield. Uh, we've recently completed some research on uh, exploring contaminant ingress into water distribution systems sponsored by the Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council. The main outcome of our research has been to prove for the first time that for fully realistic conditions, contaminant uh, originating externally to the pipeline can be drawn into the pipeline through leak holes, transported through that pipeline and ultimately exposed to us as consumers. My name is Richard Collins, I'm a lecturer in water engineering at the University of Sheffield. The research was undertaken by building a purpose-built facility here at the University of Sheffield. It's a 140 metre long pipe loop and allows us to generate representative flows and pressures that we'd see in live water distribution systems. It also allows us to generate pressure transients, high speed dynamic fluctuations in pressure that we might see in distribution systems and potentially will drive contaminant ingress. The experiment was carried out by first engineering a leak in our distribution system and then burying it under about half a metre of gravel. We then injected a pseudo-contaminant, a source of dye, into the gravel media and generated a low pressure transit to see what would happen to the contaminant source in the gravel. The outcome of the experiment was that we were able to measure the dye at the outlet of our system, which shows that not only was a pseudo-contaminant being sucked into the pipe, but it was also remaining inside the pipe and being transported around the system, potentially producing a contaminant to a customer and users of the system. Previous research has shown that various materials exist external to our pipes, including uh, pathogens and faecal contaminants, and we really don't want to be consuming uh, those in our drinking water. So the work we've done is very important for water companies. They've been at the economic level of leakage for over a decade now, so it's not possible for them to find and fix any more leaks under an economic guise. So what they can do is understand what's going on in the systems better, manage the systems better, not to create the dynamic low pressures that cause the contaminant ingress. We've worked very closely with the water companies, getting them in to come and see the facility, educating them what's going on. They've now built, uh, most of the companies in the UK have built training versions of the facility here. They're training their staff, training their operators to try and minimise the forces that create the contaminant ingress and so um, control, manage optimise the water quality you and I experience as a customer.